Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Roots. I'm Disturbing Puppet, and today we're going to try out the Marquis, or the Marquis de Cat. Or is it Marquis de Chat? Marquis de Cat. I always think it's Marquis de Chat for some reason. Alright, so we are going to play the Marquis, and we're going to go back to the other map, because I feel like the winter one's a little too big. Alright, so we have all the factions in play. Um, the Marquis is probably the one that plays the most like what you would expect for uh, kind of a typical board game. You've got a certain number of set actions every turn, you get victory points for killing stuff, and for building things. That's basically it. There are a few little odds and ends here and there to kind of keep track of. There's always the uh, cards and stuff that give you victory points. I should actually count and see. I think this one's spread out better for the um, locations of the various different fields. For like Woodland Alliance and stuff. Um, is it smaller or bigger? That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12. Yeah, it might be the same for the other one. I just felt like the other one looked like it was bigger for some reason. Okay, where do I want to start? Um, I'm picking first. I do like getting out... kind of head into this area from out of this base. It's kind of nice. These are blocked off building sites until the Vagabond checks them out and then I can build on them. So I'll start down here. That's fine. Where do I want my sawmill? So we start with troops all over the place. Let's put the sawmill... I don't know where the Eerie is going to start. They'll probably be the opposite end. Let's keep the sawmill right close to home. But the workshop and the recruiter we can kind of put out a little bit further. Let's try to keep the recruiter a little bit protected, maybe. It's kind of odd positioning, but... Oh, I don't like that. Stay away from me. So when you're not playing as the Woodland Alliance, these little agitators are really distressing. So like, I don't know where they're being able to like overthrow and take over spaces, so I have to kind of stop them whenever they do anything. All right, I can't build any cards. Fine. So what do I have? All right, kind of some junk. Dominance I can't use. If you roll two opposite corners at the start of your bird song, yeah, that's a lot harder than the other one we saw before. All right, so we've got three actions. So we can move guys around, we can attack, we can build something, we can recruit, and we can overwork to burn a card to get some extra wood. I might want to do that just because I have some junk cards I can't use. Does take an action. Yeah, let's do that. Dominance I can't use right away. Alright. The Woodland Alliance seems really interested in this back area. I definitely want to stop him from getting anything here where my recruiter is. So I'm going to recruit, and recruit, you recruit once everywhere you have a recruiter. Then I am going to attack your agitator. I do not want you taking over my recruiter space. Thank you very much. So I lose a card, not a big deal. Um, but I get a victory point, which is nice. So going after the agitators can be a good way to get some, just a little bit of extra victory points here and there, but I've got to get rid of cards to do it. So that's it for my actions. So kind of these work pretty much like you would expect a typical faction would. Three actions, we've got different things we can do. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too strange. It's more about dealing with everybody else, it's a problem. So we'll see what kind of a threat Eerie is in this game said they sometimes are not able to really get things going, other times they just sort of steamroll their way through. Vagabond's been a bit of an issue lately, we'll see what he decides to do. 
some of the factions like Woodland Alliance and Vagabond seem almost like spoiler factions where they can kind of really push one side or the other kind of down. They do sometimes win, but it's more about kind of screwing over a particular faction. Like, who do you want to screw over? No, oh, there's a revolt. So now I've got to deal with Woodland Alliance being right on my border. Hoping he might kind of go after Erie a bit more. Okay, do I want to use a field hospital? That's uh, that's extra victory points. Nah, let's not. That's fine. I lost one guy. That's not a big deal. Okay, I want victory points. So for this, I only get resources where I have one of my uh, workshops. So if I want to be able to build a variety of different cards, I have to build a bunch of workshops and they take up slots, but I get victory points by building stuff. The problem often seems to be kind of keeping an army together and uh, holding your own. So I have a couple spots I could get some free attacks in. Alright, that's all I can build. So we'll keep a couple guys here. I could move a few out, recruit. I just want to... I'm a bit worried about where the Woodland Alliance is going to go. Right, is he going to defend his agitators, or is he going to come after me directly? Either one is possible. So I might want to start building some recruiters. So at this point, it's just one wood to build something, and I get one victory point. If I want another one, it'll cost another. So I can build another recruiter right away. I'll get two victory points. It costs me two wood. I've got my wood amount down here. Um, that's tempting. Kind of makes that area a big target. Let's do it. And I'm going to go ahead and recruit. I'm kind of getting army together here this turn. Oh, Hawks for Hire up. Okay, so I can ditch a bird card for an extra action. Yeah, sure. So I could just recruit a bunch more. Or I could go ahead and get an attack in on one of these agitators. If I could sort of split them up and cause some problems. I don't mind him maybe heading in the direction of the Eerie, so if you want to take this over, that's fine. This kind of the same. Head that direction. Don't come down here. That's kind of what I want. Yuri's is spreading, but there isn't much I can do about it out here. Okay, what I'm going to do... Yeah, let's just take out one of the recruiters. Let's go here. So just an extra victory point, I get rid of my jump card. Kind of limiting which direction he can spread to with revolts. Just a little bit. If I can, I want to go after roosts to destroy also for victory points. Okay, he's repairing because he got hurt by the uprising. Okay, good. Didn't actually send anything, but he is building up an army. Alright, if I want, I can make this. I might as well. So 
reason I can't play that? No, oh, that's mouse. Yeah, it must have been mouse cost. It was a, it's another time where it's a fox symbol, but the cost to play it is different. So I might want to build a workshop somewhere where there is a fox symbol, but I kind of need the uh, vagabond to come down and check out these ruins. All right, what I'm going to do... I always think I can move between these two, but I can't. I'm going to have you just abandon that position. <laughs> Let him have it if he wants. Head towards the Eerie. I'm totally fine with that. Just go towards the Eerie. Um, I don't want you... Well, I've only got one guy here, so that's not too big of a deal if I lose that space, potentially. Um, I'm just going to try to sort of consolidate a few places. And when I do move, I can move two places for one move action, which is kind of nice. Sort of a unique thing for this faction. Um... You come down here, sort of abandoning some ground to the Eerie Dynasty, just a little bit. Okay, so basically I'm like indicating, hey, I'm not going to mess with you. Take that over, head towards the Eerie Dynasty. You can now mess with this if you want, I don't really care. Do another move. Oh, I can't move him again. I thought I could move him twice. That's disappointing. All right, you come down there. You fall back here. I'm just going to try to build up my defenses a bit. So I do have a limit on how many soldiers I can recruit. But I'm going to go ahead and do some more recruiting. So some preparation. So next time I should be kind of safe to just do some building. I'm hoping. If Woodland Alliance doesn't attack me. I'm going to try to let the Eerie sort of spread out, and I'll hit them if I can. But they often kind of mess up at some point and go into decline anyway. Also gave me a little bit of time there to uh, build up some wood. I might want to get some more lumber yards and things going. And he's giving aid just to get XP. Victory points. He keeps saying XP. Victory points. Victory points. Yeah, fine. Let's go for that. Got all kinds of cards. Oh, no, stay away from me. Okay, nothing I can craft, apparently. Since I only have the one workshop. Kind of makes it hard. Is there anything I can do? Don't have anything special. Build some stuff there, I can build some stuff here, I can build something here. I only have two wood, so I can't get another recruiter yet. Ox for hire is up. Let's overwork. Now, 
is that enough for a recruiter? Just barely. Tempted to do some attacking. We only have one action left. We could do an attack here, which doesn't really make too much of a difference. I could go after him here, but he's going to get the higher roll no matter what. I'm probably better off just trying to defend. I'm worried about him maybe just coming down and messing with me here. So maybe I should send a couple troops down to my base. Just so he doesn't just wander down and destroy my castle down there. And yeah, why can't I move you? He's just stuck there for some reason. Do I want to move anybody else? Yeah, that's fine, I think. Let's use the Hawks for hire. So overworking, I think, costs an action. I was thinking I can maybe overwork and then do like a lumber yard somewhere. Um, maybe here. It's a little bit safer, potentially. And we could attack the Eerie there. I could go after them here, but it's not really that worth it, honestly. If I get very lucky, I'll kill them and only lose two in the process. Let's, you know, I don't really want to use this, but I don't think I'm going to have a way to actually play this anytime soon, because I need four workshops to play it. It's pretty good. I get a lot of victory points for it. Let's hold off. Why does it have to be that? I guess it has to be one that matches the workshop I have. Or where the sawmill is. Where's my sawmill? Sawmill's on a rabbit. Okay, it must be rabbit then for that. That's too bad. I was hoping I could get him out of this position and start moving down, but it seems to be just kind of stuck there. Oh well. Um, I could recruit some more, or I could go ahead and do an attack. I guess I'll just do a recruit action. And that's all I've got. Apparently you can do Hawks for Hire as many times as you want. I thought it was only once, but it seems like I could just keep doing it if I wanted to. I'm going to hold off. I definitely need some sawmills. Okay, here you're down. They still have a lot of troops on the field, though. Let's see if he attacks the agitator. 
Give him a card, now kill him. No, he didn't kill him. Okay, he's getting more officers, so more actions. Yeah, that I'm not a fan of. Okay, I've got a Dominance card. You win the game if you roll three mouse clearings at the start of Birdsong. Um, I've got two right now. So I've got these two pretty well locked down, at least at the moment. Um, I'd have to take this away or go after this one. It's not super likely. I'm not going to bother with it. Okay. Is there anywhere I can build a lumber yard that's safe? Not really. I have some kind of unsafe places I can build lumber yards. Or sawmill. Not really getting a lot of cards are going to help me in combat, unfortunately. I feel like I need to do something to sort of clear out some of these enemies. So let's do this. Okay, fine. Be that way. Then I guess we will try down here. All right, now I can discard something. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So we'll just get him back. I don't think there's going to be any time soon I'm going to be able to actually play Royal Claim, but if I have it, nobody else can play it. So I might want to just end it there. Um, he's got a pretty decent chunk of guys here that could come in and be a problem. I'd like to clear this out and then maybe kind of bolster my defenses on the border. But there's not much else I can do right now. So I'm going to hold off. I mean, there isn't really much choice at this point. I'm out of actions. See what kind of cards I can play. I've got too many cards. Uh, ambush and a fox clearing. I want to hold on to that. This I can play. Yes, I can play that. And I've got a fox. That's useless. Get rid of that. So I've got a couple cards I can play for some victory points as well at the start of the turn. So now I'm kind of watching Eerie a bit more closely. They're more of a danger now. I'm hoping the Woodland Alliance will kind of focus on Eerie and just kind of leave me alone. But I don't know that that's going to happen. you dare don't do it no ah uh, since thing it's hard to tell if they can revolt or not places so that's pretty bad for me and that's why i wanted to attack there to take him out i probably should have just attacked twice to try to finish him off it's so hard to tell when you're not playing woodland alliance what spots are in danger 
when there's a revolt, it doesn't matter what you have there, it's just, it's all gone. Five warriors. Um, Alright, give me a couple. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Nothing else I can do, apparently. I need to build a workshop down here. But I've got to be able to defend it, which is kind of a problem. I could do it there, but there's a pretty big army hanging out there. Okay. Going up here, in force. Uh, I really hate giving him either one of these. Um, if I give him this, he'll just use it against me immediately, so I'll give him the anvil. I can't do enough. I really wish I had another action available. I'm gonna try to go after him a little bit. Um, let's just spread out my troops a little bit more. Okay. So I'd like to build. It's really dangerous. Let's see what I can do here first. Well, that's just irritating. Alright, you know what? Let's do it again. It's my best chance to kind of stop him here a little bit. I'm going to keep the ambush because if they come in, I want to be able to play the ambush against them. So if he sends armies down here to attack me, I want to be able to ambush them. If he sends anything here, I'm going to be able to ambush them, so I'm fine with that. Lost one guy. I was hoping I could maybe destroy his stuff and get some victory points, uh, and then I could go ahead and build something here. But we're out of actions. It's getting harder and harder to do stuff, because everyone... I'm kind of fighting Eerie and Woodland Alliance at the same time. Uh, this isn't, like, a super important position. So I'm going to try to just defend as it is. Okay. Now he might attack Woodland Alliance for some victory points. Nope, okay, he just wants the... Uh, Exploring the ruins for victory point stuff. That's fine. Oh, well, that's a problem. We'll have to take that out. Okay, 
Okay, spreading agitators all over the map. Oh, I really want to keep that ambush, but I don't really have a choice if I want to get the two guys back. All right, let's do it. Get them back. Okay, nothing I can make, which kind of sucks. So I've got two problem positions that are going to take multiple attack actions to deal with, probably. Don't really have anywhere that I can build. I could hit him here for kind of a free victory point. I'm just on the back heel so much here, and I'm kind of worried about building anything. I just I don't have any good cards here that I can use either. So I lost the ones that I had that were kind of useful. So focusing on the workshops isn't necessarily a priority anymore. Destroying stuff probably should be my focus. So I have to stop them here. Let's do a recruit. Gonna have to attack. Hope for the best. He's got an ambush card, which kind of sucks. He's gonna win the fight. It's a slaughter, cat slaughter. Uh, I've got plenty of cards I could ditch, though. This one, I'm never going to be able to play that, so sure, that's fine. Do that. Just getting everybody back. Okay, I'm worried about this area being taken away from me. That's kind of why I'm going so hard on him here. Um, he's got one soldier left. I'm going to have to try for it. Again. Yeah, I couldn't get the agitator. Having the field hospital for the Marquis is really helpful to kind of defend your main base. But I'm just not getting any victory points anymore. I've got to be destroying stuff, and I just, if I'm fighting the Woodland Alliance, it's so hard to actually get through them to get to actually destroy anything. Okay, he might soften him up for me. No, nope, I think he lost that fight. Maybe he'll attack. Nope, won't go after the agitator. do that. Oh, okay. He's backing off. Okay. Nothing I can craft. Got a ton of wood. 
for building stuff. Build another recruiter, because why not? It's the most victory points I can grab really quickly. Then, let's see. Okay, I can't get an extra action. Alright, first we do this. Because he can't defend himself. We take out this agitator. Oh, I'm down to two. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, put him up there. I was wondering why it was asking me. Alright, so we've maxed out our army. Can use Hawks for hire. And then go for an attack here on the Woodland Alliance again. Oh, he's got armors, so I'm not going to do anything. Okay, so we've got a pretty good sized army. It's just trying to stop Woodland Alliance at this point. It's going to be trouble, and now the area's going to come mess with me. Okay, he's pushing out further that direction, which I'm kind of fine with. Yeah, mess with the Eerie. Don't mess with me. Okay, nothing I can make. That's a bit of a problem. Is there any more safe I can build? Not really. Got a free attack there. Let's send a couple that way. Couple. Yeah, make it three. Okay, if I can take him out here, I can build something immediately afterwards. So maybe I should do that first. I don't have any confidence I'll be able to take him out. Most likely I'll probably just get one of them. Or none. You know, that works too. Whatever. Fine. Yeah, fighting Woodland Alliance. Not... Maybe not worth my time.
All right, we'll just clear these guys out. That'll kind of make things a little bit more open for me to move. Maybe I should just focus on the Eerie. Yeah, it's only one guy. That's fine. I'm falling way behind. Woodland Alliance is going to win for sure. I've been trying to stop them, I just haven't been able to. Some of it's bad dice rolls, but... I just haven't been that effective at being able to stop him. going to be it. That revolt's going to finish it. Well, I didn't come in last. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Woodland Alliance. You guys suck. Yeah, I'm kind of with the uh, Marquis, it's a little difficult for me sometimes to kind of get the card stuff going because I have to build the workshops. Uh, and I don't often prioritize those, so I'm kind of going on like building lumber and building up my armies and then trying to defend what I have. But if Woodland Alliance really gets a hold in your territory, it's very hard to stop them. Just because, like you saw there, fighting them is very, very difficult. If I'd focused maybe on just fighting the Eerie and kind of ignoring Woodland Alliance, I might have done better, but then I might have ended up losing my base down in the lower right, which could have then ended up causing me the game. But, I mean, I lost anyway, so I might as well probably just prioritize Eerie, because I can fight them pretty equally. And if I'm attacking, I get the advantage in dice, whereas here, they always have the advantage in dice when you fight them. But yeah, so that was another one down. Um, so this was the Marquis in Root, falling in third place. One thing that's nice about this, though, is the games are really quick, so you can kind of just burn through them really fast. It doesn't take a lot of time to kind of do maybe two or three runs in a row. But yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, this has been more Root. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. Have a good one.